You know, I got to say, guys, this winter has gone by pretty quick. We're closing in on February now, or maybe actually by the time you're seeing this video, we might already be in February. It's usually going to be a short month, and then we just have to get through the majority of March, and then we're officially into springtime. So this one really wasn't so bad. It seemed to go by pretty fast. That being said, you've still got time, okay? I know a lot of you guys are really into the heavy, sweet, dark scents, and I really like to mess with that stuff as well. And also, I think a lot of you guys probably really like to stand out, and you like to choose things that fill up a room and get you a bunch of attention and, and just make your presence known. So if you're someone that's maybe a bit loud, a bit boisterous, you're very much an extrovert and you like to essentially spark conversation via your sense, you know, you like to wear something that's super strong and it kind of gets people talking and that sort of thing and you just want to be smelled by pretty much everybody within a room, this video is going to be for you because we have 10 scents that always fill up a room with no problem at all. Strong projectors in here. I mean, again, these are going to be for the guys out there who, who doesn't want to hold back and you're not afraid to unleash some serious power with these. Now, I will provide links to these down below for you. So if you want to pick some of these up, you can do so and then get them at a price below retail. Also, if you want to pick up some rare and hard to find things, you know, your, your Luminous Night, your IDL Extreme, Lanoui Delone Blue Electrique, AC Miyake Noir Ombre, and so on. Hit my mailing list down below, just hit the link and sign up. I post deals there pretty much every day as well as on my community tab. However, the emails generally go out first and as soon as you guys get a hold of them, a lot of these things go out of stock within minutes. You know, sometimes a half hour, sometimes a bit less, sometimes a little bit longer, but they go quick. And actually a really cool one that I was proud of, I found a Creed Millisim 1849, 227 bucks. That thing sold out super quick and there was only like two of those available on eBay for multiple hundreds of dollars. So that was a cool find that hopefully some of you guys were able to pick up and now you have a super rare collectible Creed all because you signed up to my list. All right, enough of that. Let's get right into it. We have Emporio Armani, Stronger With You Oud. So uh, beside the obvious here, you get some vanilla, lavender, tonka bean, chestnut, even though officially they don't list off the last two there, they kind of went the... Uh, the direction of only providing us with three notes for this, you do pick up on them. It very much is that stronger with you DNA, but with a nice mild oud accord. And it smells really, really pleasant. It's not too overbearing, it's not too strong. This is still a very easy to wear designer level scent. The oud is, is there but it's not going to, you know, offend anybody. You know, this one still has plenty of sweet balance and plenty of a modern, you know, fun, playful, sexy designer smell to it to where it's still going to work great. That being said, if you want to stand out a bit more, maybe you have uh, absolutely and intensely in the original, but you just want a little bit of a different twist and you still want to have a ton of projection and get compliments and just, you know, be a little bit different, this would be a nice flanker to have around. I think it's kind of technically an exclusive edition somewhat, so it can be a little bit hard to get. However, I do think Fragrance Buy has it right now for a pretty decent price. Now, I definitely would have sold this video short if I didn't include this next one. So while this is hot, you know, it's uh, definitely one that's trending right now. A lot of people are loving it and talking about it. You can hear that magnetic cap and you might be tired of it already. And it's from a line that a lot of people are already tired of. There's no denying that this is a complete unhinged monster of a scent. It's Sauvage Elixir. So, you know, like I said, I just feel like I am obligated to put this in a video like this because it just works incredibly well. And I mean, check out the note breakdown if you haven't already. Cinnamon, sandalwood, nutmeg, licorice, lavender, and cardamom. And uh, I mean, do you see the trend there? Warm spices, and fresh spices, and then a little bit of a clean lavender. But basically, this is spiciness to the complete max, and it's a very mature take on Sauvage, so much so that this almost doesn't even smell like Sauvage. So in a way, you know, this is going to be uh, your Sauvage scent for the guy who wants nothing to do with Sauvage DNA, but you ultimately still want a high quality product delivered from Dior and a great performer, that's what this is going to be. And it works great for filling up a room and, and getting people talking and turning heads. Okay, so this next one, we have a Carolina Herrera. You might be thinking first, okay, what could it be from this brand? 
they don't have a ton of men sets and of which they do maybe aren't really the biggest room fillers but this is actually from their confidential line so essentially their exclusive line just like pretty much every designer brand has these days and this one in particular is mystery tobacco so a couple things really quick first of which being I've got a few of these. I have Bronze Tonka, I have Iris Empire, I have Platinum Leather, and then this one, of course. Of all of those, any of them could have been in this video. They are all incredibly strong. I was between this and Iris Empire. I love Iris Empire. I love all of them, actually, but I just figured I would go with the tobacco being that, you know, it, it's kind of filling another void in this video, which I'll talk about now, and that's my other thing I want to get to. This is taking the place of Mancera Red Tobacco. So that's very much a scent that could be in this video for sure. I didn't want to make it redundant, and I wanted to feature something different, hence Mystery Tobacco was placed into the video. And so this one does have, of course, the obvious tobacco with some patchouli, a little bit of tonka bean, amber, even a bit of vanilla in here. It smells beautiful. And the way I describe this actually is kind of like a mixture of red tobacco meets a little bit of like a Parfums de Marly Carlisle. It's kind of right there in the middle of not going too strong and oody and, and just crazy, crazy like red tobacco. But then you're getting some of that patchouli kind of sweetness, Gaillac wood sweetness from Carlisle. This kind of sits right there in the middle. It's a great combo. This is right around $220 or so on discounters. And this is a, a full 100 ml. It's an eau de parfum. You know, it's a little bit expensive, but when you take a look at what you're getting here, bang for your buck wise, performance, quality, and everything, this is actually a really good buy. And I think this could easily hang with, if not dominate, some of the other super popular niche tobaccos on the market. This is incredible. Okay, moving along, we have Paco Rabanne 1 million Parfum. So, you know, the Parfum has never been my go-to favorite. I've always gravitated towards, first and foremost, Privé. That's been long gone for a while. And then Lucky. And even recently, I've been really enjoying uh, the new Elixir. However, no one can deny, or at least I personally, I can't deny that this is a room filling projection beast. It really gets it done. And again, it's grown on me a little bit to the point where I've come around to it to realize, you know, it's a nice, I guess, different take. You get a bunch of tuberose here, so very much a white floral, but then you're getting your sweet notes. You're getting these solar notes in here, which is kind of strange, some leather, some ambergris. It's a different combination for sure. And again, even smelling it now, it's nice. It's still not my favorite, but this is heavy and thick and potent and almost syrupy. Like when you smell it up in the air, the white florals, the freshness, but then mixing with the leather, the sweetness, everything else going on, there's a real dense richness about this one. So when you're wearing this on skin, you walk into a room, not only is the distance going to occupy the space, but also it leaves a heavy trail to where when you leave, it's going to hang. Like I'm going to be smelling this for the rest of this video now. I actually don't know why I just sprayed it, but hey, that just goes to show how strong this is. Keep it moving with Dolce & Gabbana, the one mysterious night. So you can't always say, uh, you know, the one and then room filling projection beast in the same sentence, unless you're saying that it is not that, you know, we all know the one lineup is not known for performance. The EDT, the EDP, gray, sport, gentleman, whatever, none of them are projection beasts. When you get over into the exclusive line, uh, the performance is better across the board. This one, Royal Knight and Luminous Knight, all solid performers. So really, you can kind of take your pick. You're going to get pretty good results out of all of them. But I think when it comes to projection, first and foremost, Mysterious Knight probably takes the lead overall because this one is kind of a, a rose, oud, saffron scent. Of course, a bunch of amber as well. It's more of an oud take, obviously, on the DNA. And you do get that punch, that projection, that strength out of this one to where it really occupies a, a room or a, a space that you're in. Let's keep it moving with Pasha de Cartier Parfum, sandalwood, patchouli, and some boozy notes in here along with balsam fir. Very mature, very masculine, kind of going in the opposite direction compared to something like One Million Parfum, which by the way, I can still smell in full effect. I'm telling you guys that stuff is ridiculously strong. So I digress, but anyway, I literally, I can't get that out of my head now. It's all I can smell right now. This is going to be much more gentlemanly, much more refined and mature. I really think this is well done. 
And let's be real, this is what you would expect from a brand like Cartier. They've put out so many gentleman classics and this one is a really nice wintertime wearing scent that you would use when it's cold outside from the line. You know, some of their others are kind of maybe more spring fall, you know, woodies and that sort of thing. But this one's got some sweetness, some heaviness, nice booziness. It's a really well done flanker with great projection. And like you heard me say earlier, no Mancera red tobacco in this video. However, I did want to sneak in a Mancera because I do think at the end of the day, when you, again, when you're looking at price to performance to quality ratio and everything, even uniqueness and all that stuff, Mancera is a fantastic niche brand because it covers pretty much all of your bases. A lot of them do. And so this is kind of the one I wanted to feature. It's Aoud Lemon Mint. So again, there could have been many more. I could have put in Intense Cidrap Waze. I could have put in the brand new Tonka Cola. Anything and everything else in between. So many that perform so, so good. But I like Aoud Lemon Mint quite a bit, you know. Now, this one has Oud, but it's got some vanilla. There's a, a little bit of this lemony bergamot combo a little bit of a couple different types of citrus here and then a green minty aspect smells great you know when you look at the bottle when you look at the name you might think summer scent i caution you with that because when you actually get this one in and smell it you'll actually probably be able to tell for yourself that yeah this isn't really a summertime scent even though it may look like it on paper and pictures so again, you'll figure that out when you get it in, but if you are watching this video right now and you haven't smelled this yet and you're like, oh, I'll pick that up for spring and summertime, you could probably swing this pretty well in spring. In fact, actually, it would be a really nice spring scent, especially for the colder, colder, chillier, cloudy days, gloomy spring days. But when you start getting into that sun, the heat and the humidity, this is a big no-go. And if you are brave enough to wear it in those environments, respect to you. That being said, no matter what time you choose to wear it, it's going to be a projection beast. It's going to be a room filler, no problem. And really, you can't go wrong with this if you just want performance. Got to love this one up next here, Spice Bomb Extreme. You know, I thought about putting this or even Infrared also has really solid projection and it will easily fill up a room. It's also about $30 cheaper. I don't know if discounters drop the price on that or if I'm just going crazy. Um, like 90 ml for 80 bucks on fragrance net right now i don't know if it was higher before maybe it wasn't maybe i'm losing my mind this is 110 so there's a difference there for sure however it just depends on what you want to go for if i had to choose which one my favorite would be it's going to be extreme i don't think there will ever be a flanker that tops this you know this one has the tobacco vanilla black pepper warm spicy sweet smells beautiful but really any of the spice bombs for the most part would achieve the same result of filling up a room this just happens to be my personal favorite all right, second to last, we have a Gucci scent. This one is Intense Oud. So look, I know there's been a lot of Oud in the video, but like I said, I'm choosing Oud scents here that are really easy to pull off and very mass pleasing. You know, these are great ones to get into and I don't think you guys would really have too much of an issue with most of these. They're very easy to pull off. This one in particular here has Oud, of course, but leather, amber, and incense. But again, even the Oud itself is a very fresh variety. You get some smokiness, some leather, Nice masculine scent. Um, this smells essentially to me like a designer version of Nasamato Black Afghano. Now that one, niche obviously and very expensive, especially you know being it's a 30 ml and it's gonna be over $100. So price per mil is big on that one given it is also an extrait and you'll probably only need one bottle to last a lifetime to each their own, but that is gonna be more of a true niche experience. This is gonna be overall easier to pull off in a variety of situations and definitely gonna be, I would say, a pretty nice entry level oud. Again, it's a fresh oud mixing with some masculine notes, the leather, the incense, that sort of thing. It's really impressive for the price. Great performer, great smell. Um, it, it's just really, really good. And we'll end things with a cheapy here, Ferragamo F Black. Uh, this goes all the way back to the beginning of my collection. And this poor bottle is all busted up. I don't know how well you can see it. That's all chipped right there. That's plastic on the top. Um, basically a heavy bottle of some sort got dropped right on top of this thing. Yeah, and also I've shown this before. I don't know if it'll show up very well. My bottle has a ton of floaters. Um, that's not bubbles, that's floaters. Yeah, you can actually see it. 
Isn't that crazy? Again, I've had this for years, five going on six years. It's always had those. It's very bizarre. I don't know what it is. It's just weird, you know? I really don't know. Uh, do I still wear it? Do I still spray it? Of course. Do those floaters come out of the bottle? I don't know. But regardless of that, this smells amazing to me. This is a 20 to $30 cheapy scent. I've got niche, I've got indie, I've got just stupid, overpriced, crazy stuff. I still love this, and I think that does say something. It's got black pepper and lavender, that's essentially all you need to know about it. Very confident, very strong, very masculine smelling. Very much a, a, a go-getter scent. Like this is the type of thing where you spray it on, it's almost like you feel compelled to just get stuff done. I don't know. There's just something very confident, very masculine, and just very uplifting and, and inspiring about this one in a way. Like it just kind of kicks you into gear and just makes you want to get off the couch and go do something, you know. Really nice for the wintertime. Very strong and, again, very cheap, but does fill up a room with no problem. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me. Ten fragrances that always fill up a room. These don't even break a sweat. These have some serious power to them. So... Make sure you know that going into these. You know, you can limit your sprays and adjust your sprays. If you're someone who loves how these smell or you want to get them, but maybe you don't want a ton of obnoxious projection, just knock your sprays back. I don't want this video to scare anyone who doesn't want this. You know, if you take I would lemon mint and hit yourself with one, maybe two sprays, you're not gonna be going crazy, and that'll be just enough for you to smell it, people around you, but you're not gonna be obnoxious. For those of you who really want to get the full effect when you start hitting yourself with four, five, six sprays and beyond. If you're crazy, you will have some crazy room filling results. So just again, your mileage may vary. Adjust your sprays to whatever's necessary for you. Again, check out that mailing list if you wanna get some rare stuff. It's a completely free service, signing up that is. Uh, you probably will spend money because I'm gonna be dropping some of the hottest deals that you can possibly get, rare, discontinued, hard to find things. You gotta pay for that stuff, but again, to sign up and get those deals, it's free. And uh, you know, I've helped so many of you guys get some amazing things, and it's a great feeling for myself seeing those emails and those comments saying you finally got something after you've been trying to get it for months or years. So again, that's your one-stop shop if you want to get some rare, hard to find things. But do keep in mind, again, they sell fast. When that email goes out, it's game on. So you gotta make sure you jump in there and get it while you can. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.